Hey everybody and welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. Uh, this is just going to be a quick tip and that little tip is how to keep your Elementor tabs as tabs in uh, mobile view. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we have a uh, Elementor tab widget with uh, four tabs and if you go into mobile view you will see they turn into accordion and uh, a lot of times that might not be what you want you want to keep them as tabs in mobile view well that's uh, relatively easy to do with some CSS so let's go see how it's done we'll come back over here into uh, Elementor where I have the uh, tab widget so we uh, have it selected just go to the advanced tab and give it a CSS ID and for this one I used H dash tabs and we'll update that and we'll exit to the dashboard and from there we will go to uh, the simple CSS uh, editor from the simple CSS plugin and there I'm going to uh, paste in some code that I have here at another monitor uh, that's running Notepad++. So uh, here's the first little bit of uh, CSS. We're saying that at a minimum width of 320 pixels, uh, we want to take this uh, ID of this uh, selector, the tab wrapper, we want to display it flex and in the flex direction of oh so let's save that and see what that does okay we'll reload and uh, go back down and well yep there's the uh, tabs all in a row but we still have the accordion showing up so uh, what are we going to do there well uh, one thing I'm going to do is close this and um, we have to add a little bit more CSS so I'll go here and copy that come over here again to simple CSS paste it in and what we want to do there with this is to hide the mobile title by display none that's what's giving you the uh, accordion view so we'll save that and see how that worked. Refresh. And uh, go back down to mobile. And there you go. And it stays that way. So now you can see, of course, if you had a lot more tabs, that'll probably wrap. And you might have to do some more fiddling around with the CSS. But that's how you get it there. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I'll have the uh, CSS for that posted on the page here at the Sniffle Valve uh, site in the tutorial section. There will be a link to that in the video description. And, uh, yeah, so uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Sniffle Valve YouTube channel as well as on uh, the site. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.